great to have our very special guest here. I am a fan from Real Housewives of Melbourne, the lovely Janet Roach. Bombshell, hello. Hello. Yeah, Hi, Bombshell. Ed. Hi, How dare you Zoe. come in here How looking better fabulous. than us? <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> now, you are a busy lady. Yes. Tell me how you balance it all. Look, I just think that all of life is about balance anyway, and mm. I don't think that you can ever really get it right. I don't think that these people that say that they're like a super mum or something like that, I, I don't know that they'd be very happy. I don't think you get it right, and I think you just do the best that you can. Just figure and, it out as you go. Uh, but yes, but it is all a, sort of about balance. Some things you have to say, look, I can't do that. Mm. Um, you know, I'll do them next time. Or, yes, yeah, just trying to keep a balance. But I don't know that anybody that's really, really, really busy, unless they're very uptight, hmm. actually gets it right. Good what, point. What do you guys Good think? Good point. Yeah. No, I think you're onto the money there. Look, we're going to talk about your raw essential tea lines in just a sec. There's a really personal inspiration behind it, though, isn't there? Yes. Uh, it's all sort of started when my son was in a fire mm. when he was 22. And he spent about the next three years, he was burnt to 60 5%, nearly 70% of his body. That's Jake, yeah. Yeah, this is Jake. And um, oh, such a fright. But he was so full of so many drugs and things because you imagine he's been grafted three times yes. and mm. all over. And while he was okay physically, sort of getting okay physically, just mentally he had no inspiration for life. He was oh. just laying on the couch. I'm um, mad about organic food. I have an organic vegetable garden. I grow a lot of my own herbs, which isn't very housewifely, <laughs> I know, but it's that, that is my passion. And I tried to get him to drink some herb teas, herbal teas and things that I'd been mixing up. Finally, Yourself? Yeah, I, it's actually my hobby. It's been my hobby for about 30 years. Wow. I'd grow my own I'm herbs, impressed. dry them all on hangers in the in the shed, my poor children, and, um, and make up different combinations of teas because wow. I know a lot about what the herbs do. So I was making up tea for him. I finally convinced him to have it. He's going, Mum, I've taken so many like real drugs. Yeah. yeah. Like real What's drugs. Do you do? really think that this is going to? And I said, I really do think that this is going to help you. Ultimately, it did. So wow. I'm sort of trying to cut it a long story short. Then I said to him, look, if you could do anything in the world at, for, as a job, what, what would you like to do? Because now the things that he wanted to do were no longer available to him. Yes. And he said, uh, we'd found some amazing uh, treatments for Burns patients from around the world. And I think that he looks amazing for the amount of how burnt he is. Yeah. They were very expensive and so he wanted to start a foundation. Incredible. I didn't want to start a foundation because I didn't want to do, or I know how much work all yeah. of the fundraising is. Yeah. So he said, he sort of said, why don't you do the, your tea, Mum, because you really love that and we'll take proceeds from the tea and donate them to the foundation no fundraising and Fantastic. it's a win-win. He does right. what he wants and I do what I want. So for both of us, what kind of tea would you suggest, especially for Ed? Mm -hmm. Anything in mind? For both of you, especially for Ed. Especially Ed, for Ed. can I tell you, we got a bronze medal. This is a winner, a bronze international medal for the aphrodisiac tea. Yes, you need that. Just give it, give it over. That's it. It is. <laughs> I'm telling you, we tested it on people. We tested it on ourselves. Would have been fun. Huh? Yeah, it was. It was yeah, a lot of fun. You've had a good time it, with that and one. It, it really works. And for you, I understand that you're pregnant. So. I am very pregnant. Mm. Are you? Well, then, do you finding that you're having issues with sleeping? Oh my gosh, please. You got something. I drink this one every night before I go to bed. Did you make this? No, I didn't. You know that even though it is my hobby for 30 years, I actually got a number of very, very well-known international tea masters to blend these teas because they are much better at it than me. Beautiful. Right. So you're going to sleep, I'll be up all night by the sounds of things. <laughs> but our hero, our yes. winner, we got a gold international medal for yes. our Slim Tea. Our Slim Tea is absolutely amazing. We get people this writing like to us. This isn't like the skinny no. teas that make you do go to the toilet. This no, is so healthy. this has got no scent. That's why we won okay. the gold medal. It um, warms you up with thermogenesis. It increases Whoa. your energy and it decreases your appetite. Training. I might just take one of each. Is that okay? Yes. Great. <laughs>